and welcome to the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm sure you're keen to get into that hot seat, so let's get started. OK, let's take a quick check on the rules. Up to four of you can play the game, and each of you will need to choose adult or junior questions. Then, for the first time ever, you'll be able to choose the type of questions you'd like to answer. There are three categories. General knowledge, entertainment and sport. Simply choose one and stick with it. All you need to do then is answer the 15 questions that stand between you and a virtual £1 million. As always, you can walk away at any time and there are the usual three lifelines available to you. Ask the audience, 50-50 and phone a friend. If you make it all the way to a million, you could be jetting off on a luxurious family holiday by entering our competition. So grab your remote control and let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Select the difficulty and category of questions you'd like to play. Sir, you want to answer the traditional general knowledge questions. Good choice. Let's see how far up the money tree you can go, starting with five questions to get you up to £1,000. Take a look at question number one. That's very good for 100 quid. £200 if you can get this right. £200, well done. Now, you've not used any lifelines, so they are still all available if you need them on this £300 question. You wouldn't want to give me a wrong answer at this stage, would you? And you haven't! Well done! Let's get you up to £500 with question number four. OK, you want to ask the audience for a bit of help. Audience, I hope you know the answer to this one. Serious business. Grab your keypads and all vote now. Now, that's a pretty resounding A from the audience there. Are you happy to trust them? Uh, you wouldn't want to give me a wrong answer at this stage, would you? And it's a good job you didn't. You've got the right answer. This is the last chance that you could leave us with absolutely nothing. Please don't do that. Here comes question number five. You had 500 pounds. You now have 1,000 pounds. It's the right answer. Well done, 1,000 pounds safely in the bank. But I don't want to give you that just yet. Take a look at the next question. It's worth £2,000. Take your time. You can still use your 50-50 or phone a friend if you don't know the answer. You had £1,000. You just won £2,000. It's the correct answer. Well played. OK, a chance to double that £2,000 to £4,000 now with question number seven. The very best of luck. Here it comes. Right then, going 50-50 should help. The computer will take away two of the answers, leaving you with the correct answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Good use of the 50-50 there. It's won you £4,000. OK, let's have a look at the situation. You have given me seven correct answers and you are now just seven more correct answers away from me asking you a question for a virtual one million pounds. You have only one lifeline left to help you, but it's not impossible, and it'd be really nice if you could at least get to the next big milestone. First things first, let's get you up to 8,000 pounds. Lots of luck. If this is wrong, you lose 3,000 pounds. But it's not wrong, you just won 8,000. 
OK, things are getting a little bit more serious now. £16,000 is a lot of money. And that's how much you can win by giving me the right answer to question number nine. The drop, if you get this wrong, though, has gone up to 7000 So think carefully before you give me an answer. You're right. You've just won £16,000. OK, let's pause for breath. You have £16,000. Get this next question wrong and you will lose 15000 of that and leave us with just 1000 However, get the question right and you'll be guaranteeing yourself £32,000. You can use your only remaining lifeline, your phone a friend, if you don't know the answer. Lots of luck. Here comes that question. If this is right, you've won £32,000. It is right. You're assured of a big win. So, you must be feeling pretty pleased with yourself, and rightly so. 32000 is now the very least amount you'll be leaving the game with. And we'd love you to turn that into £64,000. You can do that by giving me the correct answer to this next question. You still have one lifeline available should you need it. Lots of luck. Here it comes. I know you have nothing to lose, but are you sure that is the answer you want to go with? I really hope this is the right answer. I can tell you... It is the right answer. You've just won £64,000. Right, things are going really well. Amazing how quickly you can turn 32000 into sixty-four. But let's just calm down a bit. The next question is worth £125,000. A huge amount of money. You do not have to play this question. But... You've still got a phone a friend lifeline available, should you need it. Here we go, the very best of luck. Right, let's not waste any time. I have to tell you that you gave me the right answer. Fantastically well played. You just won £125,000. Did you really think when you started out that you get to the point where I would be asking you a question for £250,000? Probably not, but it is about to happen. Please, please do not give me a wrong answer and phone a friend if you aren't totally sure of your answer. Let's see what happens as we look at question number 12. Right, this is serious business. You've just decided to play on a question for a quarter of a million pounds. I can tell you. It's the right answer. You are a quarter of a millionaire. Well, things are still going very well indeed. You just keep giving me the right answer and I keep handing you bigger and bigger and bigger sums of money. I do have even more money that I could give you, starting with a virtual cheque for £500,000. But only if you can answer this next question. You just risked £218,000. You had a quarter of a million. You now have half a million. Amazing. You are one of our biggest ever winners. Well, I'm not sure I've ever asked someone the million pound question without them having already used up all of their lifelines, but you do now have a real chance to take out the million. And you might as well take advantage of the lifeline situation, even if you are sure you know the answer. 
Let's hope in just a few moments' time we will all be celebrating. Here comes your 15th and final question. Which of these English kings belong to the House of Tudor? Edward III, Edward IV, Edward V, Edward VI. Well, I don't blame you for using a lifeline if you're not sure. Pick one of your friends and we'll give them a call. I'll have to guess at this one. D is probably the answer I would go for. I can't say it's going to be right, though. So they're making a guess at D. Now, sometimes it's better if they don't make a guess at all. You do not have to take any notice. You can still make a guess at your very own. And I have to check that you are really going to play this question. Is this your final answer? Amazingly, you've decided to play the million pound question. Now, you could have walked away with half a million pounds, but instead, you are walking away with one million pounds. <laughs> You're a winner, fantastically well done. Not only have you won a million, you've also got the chance to enter a draw to win a fantastic, all expenses paid family holiday. Just text the winning code to the number on your screen. Very well done and thanks for playing the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire?